السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن بی آف آف سی آئی آئی ریڈیو وی پریزنٹ یو لیسن نمبر فائیو ایٹی نائن آف آور ڈیلی نصیحہ اینڈ ایڈوائس آور ٹاپک ٹو ڈے ایز کوشن ریگارڈنگ حدیث وین مینشننگ ایٹ دا حدیث از نریٹڈ آن دا اتھارٹی ان المغیرہ رضی اللہ عنہ قال سمیت رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یقول احد مصطفیٰ حبیبنا صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سینگ ان کذبا علی علیس کا کذب علی احد وین یو لائی اگینسٹ می اگینسٹ می نبی محمد مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دین از ناٹ اے لائی اگینسٹ اینی ادر پرسن میننگ We lie against somebody, obviously that's a say sin, but when we lie against the Master Habibullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then that person goes to Jahannam, and the hadith is mentioned in Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Nasai, Ibn Majah, Mustad Ahmad, so many books. Now here we need to learn three things. Number one, for hadith we have a chain. Chain means that from the author, Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, all of them, right up to Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Therefore, Abdullah ibn Mubarak rahimahullah used to say, Lawla al-isnaad, if there's no chain, laqala man sha'a ma sha'a, then any person could say anything. So we are the only people on this earth who have this chain. Thereafter, we should look at the text. What did Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say? And then third, we have to verify it, whether it is sahih, authentic or not, hasan, good or not, da'if, weak, maudu, maudu is fabricated. We cannot quote it, absolute lie and fabrication. So this hadith sharif, which is mentioned in Muslim sharif, refers to that. فَمَنْ كَذَبَ عَلَيَّ مُتَعَمِّدًا Whosoever lies against me deliberately, whether we are writing, whether we are mentioning it in a lecture or anywhere, it is not something we can jest about and joke about and take it lighthearted. These are matters of faith, very, very serious. If we lie against Nabi alayhi salatu salam, it means that we have no love, no respect, no iman on Nabi alayhi salam, Allah forbid. Therefore, Mustafa Habibuna sallallahu alayhi sallam said, Maman kadaba alayya muta'amidan, whosoever lies against me deliberately, fal yatabawwa maqadahu minan nar. So that person there, he must then go and reserve his seat today in Jahannam. And these words that I read now are mentioned by Imam Muslim rahimahullah in Sahih Muslim. Now let us see some common errors that people make today. Number one, people just say Hadith Sharif mein aya hai, it came in the Hadith Sharif. But where? Nobody even knows about it. Many a time you hear it's a saying of a Sahabi or a saying of a Waliullah or saying of some Alim and people just go and attribute it to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that also is unacceptable. Third one, look at how cautious the Sahaba radiallahu anhu were. Majority of them, they narrated very few ahadis. Few of them only went into thousands and thousands. Most of them you will find it is just 50, 100 or so. Why? Because they were extremely circumspect and cautious. So for us, it's very good that we should try and learn the ahadith. But learn the ahadith from the famous kitabs, for example, like Mishka Sharif, Bulughul Maram, Riyadhul Salihin. So these are excellent books for the students, for the alimas, for the ulama, and the public also, that if they want, then they go by the ulama and learn these kind of kitabs. Remember the business of self-style learning we just pick up the internet or google remember that is not how we're going to learn quran or sunnah surah 62 verse 2 surah jumu'ah verse 2 hikmah. you have to teach them the quran sharif and you have to teach them the sunnah so remember this is by a teacher we have to go. Sina basina, what is in the heart of the person, he passes it on to you. That is how we will learn this Islamic sciences, Quran Sharif, and the Sunnah of Nabi alayhi salatu salam. May all Allah give us tawfiq, that we can practice on it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.